Good morning. Today we are going to start a new chapter, the Earth and the Solar System. Students, have you ever seen the sky at night? If not, take a break. Please go and watch the sky. What we can see there? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Beautiful stars are there which we can observe in our bare eyes. The highest object what we can see on the sky is moon. Uncle Moon is there with lots of light to make the night beautiful, right? Now, can we see the moon in the same shape and size every day, every night? No, it is not. Certainly, you all also know that. Some few days, we can see the moon in full size and we call it as full moon. Then there are some few nights when we can see that moon is disappeared. There is no moon at all. You cannot find it. So those nights we call them as new moon. Now this new moon and full moon, they have a time span of 15 days. It is fixed after full moon. We can see 15 days after the full moon, we can see the new moon. Now what we have, the terms we used here, we use stars, we use the word moon. Now when we are observing the sky at night, we can see stars, we can see moon and we can see sometimes some of the shooting objects. We can see sun, now what are they? What we can call them? We call all these as celestial bodies. So whenever you look at the sky at night, daytime, what we can see on the sky, they all are celestial bodies. Now the sun, moon, planets, all the planets, whatever is there in the sky, they are all celestial bodies. Some celestial bodies are very big and they are hot. They have their own light and there's a reason we can see them twinkle at night. They are called as stars. Sun is a star like that. The only star we have in our solar system. And the sun has nine planets. It was nine. Now it is claimed as eight. Some planets which are revolving around the sun. At night, if we watch in the sky, we can see many stars are together. They are forming some of the shapes. We call it as constellation. Now, what is a constellation? A number of stars together in the sky. We call, we, when we see them, we observe them from the earth, we imagine many things on the sky. It some seems sometimes a bear, sometimes it seems like seven sages are together, sometimes we feel it is a question mark. So we call them together, all these stars, we call them as constellation. Can you name some of them? Yes, I know you can. Some of them are Ursa Major. There are uh, Saptarshi, seven sages together. It is looking like a question mark on the sky. These all are known as constellation. Now, there is a star which from the ancient time helping all the sailors to move from one place to another. You know, in the when they did, never uh, even discovered, invented compass, even from that time, the sailors, they used to depend only on one star to find the direction where they are going. This star is known as pole star. This star is in opposition on the sky, who is never changing its place. And we call it as pole star or the direction star, which is giving us direction it is always in the northern side. So where we are going in the north, keeping it in the north, we can fix our direction. Now, let us come to our own earth. What is earth? I told you before, earth is a planet. What is a planet? 
the meaning of this word planet is wanderer those who are moving from one place to another they are called as planet this is the literal meaning of the word planet wanderer now the greek word planetal from there we opted this word planet our earth is such a planet sun is a star which has total eight planets now revolving around it it was nine before but now pluto due to its size we are no more considering pluto as the planet rather we call pluto as dwarf planet it lost its position as a planet so now we have total eight planets now we will discuss about the solar system now we'll discuss about solar system our solar system consists of one sun eight planets many asteroids and meteoroids let us discuss on each of them individually sun the sources of all heat and energy for earth it is sun it is the only star in the solar system that is providing heat and light to the entire solar system. It is a huge ball of helium gas that continuously producing lots of heat and as well as light. It is a burning ball we can say. It is extremely hot and it provides a pulling force. Now here let me tell you a story. Sun is just like your mother. The way when you are visiting anywhere, your mother is holding your hand to pull you in the proper direction. The same way, even the sun is holding all the planets, asteroid, meteors and everyone in the solar system to give them the proper direction, which way they need to move. Here, we can see there's a reason all the planets, they are in their proper position. They cannot deviate it. They cannot move from one place to another in their own wish. Think what will happen if there is no pull from the sun. The planets, they will move one place to another and that will create a commotion. Sun is the mother figure or father figure, whatever you, can, you want to say you can in the solar system actually the control, controller of the solar system sun is a uh, is the huge ball i told you then you can ask me that why it is not looking so big because it is 150 million kilometer away from the earth as a result we can see sun in that size now next come up to the planets what i told you that planets are the planetary bodies that are moving wandering from one place to another so they are planets these planets are surrounded to a sun they are orbiting sun in a particular fixed orbit sun has given all of them a particular way to go and the planets are following those orbits planets are divided into two types now if i ask you the names of the planet i hope every one of you can tell it because we have learned it from our nursery planets are divided into two types one is called as inner planets and another part of type is known as outer planets now who are inner planets and who are outer planets the one is very nearby to the sun we call them as inner planet can we name them yes they are mercury venus earth and mars these all are inner planet and the outer planets are jupiter saturn uranus and neptune in between this inner planet are outer and outer planets there is a division of we can say that god has divided it with the asteroids asteroid belt is there that is actually dividing inner planet and outer planet now what are this 
specialities of this inner planet and how they are different from the outer planet. Mostly, whatever the inner planets I name, let me name them once more, Mars, Venus, Earth and uh, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars, all of them they are rocky planets. Rocky planets means they are their base, it is made of rock. So their sizes are small. We don't see much gases surrounding them. They are, we can say they are rocky planets. And outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, these four planets, they are gaseous planet. It is, they are full of, they have their base, definitely there is something, the rock. But they are so huge in size because they have uh, lots of gases surrounding him. Jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system. Another difference between inner planet and outer planet is these inner planets they don't have their rings. But most of the water, uh, outer, outer planets they have their ring. I hope all of us we are we know about the rings of Saturn, but Saturn is not the only planet which has its ring. Even Jupiter, Uranus and Neptune, they also have their ring. Neptune's ring is not that visible, but other three are visible. They have their visible rings. These are the difference between inner planets and outer planets. Next, we are coming to our Earth. Let us discuss now about our Earth. Earth is the ne uh, third nearest planet to our uh, sun. First is Mercury, second is Venus and third is Earth. In size, if we consider, it is the fifth largest planet. It is like how it size, it, size, it, it looks like an orange. Have you ever seen an orange, the fruit? Yes, it is flattened from both the sides, both the poles, it is a little flattened. And this type of shape is described as geoid, G-E-O-I-D. That means it is flattened from both the sides, both the poles. It is, actually the literal meaning of this word geoid is earth-like shape. So, the shape of earth is described by this word geoid. It is the only planet we can say which has oxygen, water and life. Though there are much more claims that yes we have water in some other outer planet, some inner planets also. But yet to prove that maybe Mars next time we can claim that yes it has water. But even now, it is not yet proved, we cannot claim that. It is only our earth which has life, which has oxygen, which has water. We are coming to moon. Where is moon? I have not written about moon anywhere. Yes, each and every outer planet and some of the inner planets, they have their own satellite, natural satellite, not the satellite is sending television uh, connection to your home, not that one, they are all man-made satellite. Some of the, on these planets, they have natural satellites. Our earth has one satellite only that is orbiting the earth and that is Mr. Moon. Moon is the satellite, only natural satellite that we have and we have all seen, right? It is literally visible in the night sky. If we see, we can see that. When we are uh, seeing, uh, we, we can observe it from our earth, what we can see? Then moon and sun, they are almost the same size, right? Because I told you earlier, the distance of sun is 150 million kilometer away from the earth. But the uh, differ, distance between earth and moon is only 384 kilometer away. As a result, we can see both sun and moon almost same size, but actually they are not. Sun is so huge, moon is even smaller, so, much, so smaller than our earth also. It moves around the earth. It has its own orbit and this in orbit moon is orbiting the earth 
at the same time with earth it is orbiting the sun also so earth is also orbiting the sun right earth is also orbiting the sun in this way so moon is orbiting the earth at the same time it is orbiting the sun and earth is uh, it is a revolution it is revolving around the sun it moon takes 27 days total to complete one revolution against the well, around the earth there's a reason sometimes it uh, it it also spin at the same time you know the time it is taking to revolve the same time it takes to rotate as a result we always can see only one side of the moon we cannot see double face of the moon we can only see one side one face of the moon if we see moon what we see we see there are something some stories from the beginning from your childhood you have heard that the some uh, person some old woman woman is there who is spinning his charkas and all but the story it's actually the shadows the shades what we can see on moon they are nothing but the mountains moon has mountains and the shadow of the light from sun because moon has no light what i say i told you that only sun has light in this total solar system so all other all other planetary bodies they are getting light from sun naturally moon moon also has no light no heat it is getting its light and heat from sun so whenever it is getting sun light from sun we can see some shades on moon and these shades are nothing but mountain unfortunately though it is our own satellite it has no life it has no life it has no water no oxygen and it is only facing one side we can see only one side of the moon to earth it's uh, it's it's rotating because the reason is it is rotating and revolving at the same speed 27 days so we can see only one side of the moon.